What are the five biggest mistakes that people make with their bike fit and setup? Well, we're joined today by Jake, pro bike fitter from Precise Performance, who is gonna run us through those five biggest mistakes and tell you how you can avoid them. Right, Jake, mistake number one that people regularly make, hit us. Saddle height. Incorrect. Right. Um, simplest way, most basic way, it's not absolutely perfect all the time. Sit on your saddles evenly, place your heel on your pedal, you're gonna get something which isn't too high, not too low, you're away. So crank at six o'clock position. Crank at six o'clock position. Slight bend in the leg Slight, or? It's straight leg, not completely locked, not too, not bent. Okay, and that'll be yeah. like, get you started. It's a good starting point, yeah. Okay. Mistake number two that you regularly see. Cleats worn out. Yeah, um, have a look at them. Compare it to a new looking cleat. If it looks worn out or slightest, just change it. For the hopefully small expense of cleats, just um, just change them, it's safer. And what happens when they're worn out? Um, instability at your feet, painful knees. A lot more play, it wears out your pedal quicker, so it makes it more expensive in the future. Yeah. Yeah, just injuries. Injuries and worn out equipment makes it right. expensive. Number three. Saddle discomfort. Just. It's not normal. Don't don't <laughs> suffer with it. <laughs> if you're you know if you're in doubt, try and find a brand which you can go and trial a few different brands, a few different styles, and see if it's something which you can solve. And uh, by just trying a different saddle, a yeah, lot of them have like a return guarantee. So I don't think anyone should accept being uncomfortable on the bike. We need to no. fix that. Hundred percent, yeah. Mistake number four: uh, handlebar connection. So. Believe it or not, we are actually supposed to hold in there on the shifter like that. Okay. Okay. But what we see a lot of people doing is holding back on the bar. Okay. So just maybe try a short stem to start with. Again, it may not be the correct fix at the time, but if you're not going to go for bike fit anything, it might be a, a solvable option. And okay. you, you've said to us before that you more commonly make someone's stem shorter than longer. Yes. Yeah. So most people tend to have it too long. Yeah. Exactly. And downfall of having a stem too long, if your hand isn't holding on the hood correctly, yeah. you can't break if it's Can't break, well, right? you can't change gears, and also you move your shoulders a lot and your body. If you're constantly moving 20, 30 mil forward, you're basically gonna end up moving your body to basically um, reach that and you... So you might end up sitting on the nose position. of your saddle. Yeah, you compromise the rest of your wrong. position. Right, on to our final mistake is that. I think it's tied in with leeward position, right? Yeah, is making sure they're balanced. So make sure they're the same height each side. So don't just rely on the markers on the bar because they can be off sometimes. Um, get like a tape measure, a uh, piece of string, something which you can measure a certain point to a certain point and just make sure they're the same height. So, oh, okay. I think not always relying on markers on things is a yeah. really good point yeah, to yeah. make. Definitely. You see that on the shoes. shoes People set their one, shoes yeah. up, they think that they're exactly the same on each side. Yeah, yeah. Because they've just gone off the markers. But so, some shoe brands are good at that. Yeah, yeah. They do, they are the same on each side, but other ones, it's like they've just put like a transfer on. Yeah, yeah. And, and as you know, there's also that reliability of things being made the same as well. Mm. As well Should as we well. assume that just because a bike is brand new out of the factory that the levers are, are equal or should we always measure? I would always measure, always double check, just to make sure, you know, for your own injury prevention, just check these things, yeah. Okay, cool. Well, that was a quick fire run through list of Jake's top five um, bike fit mistakes. We do have loads more in depth bike fit and related concepts and content. If you want to see that, head over to GCN Tech and um, turn on your notifications if you haven't already and subscribe and um, let us know in the comments section down below what common mistakes you see people making with their bike fit.